With the here. Do Molly, yes. Please feel free to. I'm going to mute everybody for one second. There we go. Okay, let me record on the computer here. One second. Feel free to. I'm going to mute everybody. Oh, yeah, I've got to go stop that real quick. That's right. Okay, let me record on the computer here. One second. Hold tight, guys. You kind of get in the habit of. I've got to go stop that real quick. That's right. right there. Pause. Okay, record. There we go. It's a it's a process. Let me tell you. You gotta go live on Facebook, and then you gotta go mute Facebook. All right. Now I'm just gonna record on the computer. All right. Great turnout tonight, you guys. Excited to be with you. Um, my name is Sean Escobar. I am. Uh, I and my wife, Crystal, are the co-founders of ER Shred, which is a nutritional protocol that um, we came out with in uh, October of 2020. And it's all, it's an elimination protocol. And uh, I'm not going to go too much into it because I think the testimonials that you'll hear tonight will kind of explain, you know, kind of what the benefits are around that. I'm going to go make Jesse a co-host just so that all these people trying to get in don't uh, keep distracting me. There we go. And Matt, Mel, I don't know if you already shared this in the groups, but if someone could share in the groups, that'd be awesome as well. Um, the ER Shred Protocol is, it's miraculous. It's unbelievable. It basically teaches you how to get off all the culprit foods that are hurting you and causing you problems that you don't even realize. And it teaches you a new level of empowerment around the foods that you should eat and intuitively learning how to eat for empowerment moving forward. It's, it's really a phenomenon. And I think when you hear the testimonials tonight, you'll understand why um, people will say that uh, it's really unlike anything else. My wife might step in with us here in a minute. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead with these testimonials. I posted a disclaimer in the... Uh, you know, in the description of the Facebook, I'll also post it in the chat um, here so that we just, you know, that we do not attempt or, or uh, we do not ever claim to treat, cure, prevent any type of illness uh, or disease. We are not suggesting that anybody, we're not giving medical advice. Like we, we take that seriously. This is definitely nothing that we, uh, you know, we want to make sure that, that, uh, we're all above board. But you guys, I'm so excited for tonight. I hope you were on the call last night with Jesse James Jamnick and Ashley. Um, it was amazing. So go watch that if you haven't, because that was amazing. The call was incredible. And, you know, you can find those on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search up ER Shred. All right. I'm going to kick off these testimonials so that we can get to all of them. It's really important that everybody has the time. First and foremost, I've got Jessica Billick Benson. Uh, Jessica, are you out there? Let's see if she made it on. Hey, I am right here. All right, Jessica, hold tight one second. I'm going to put this on speaker mode. There we go. Jessica, how are you? Good. Thanks for having me on. I'm so grateful you came on. So I noticed on your post, you said that you were a, a fly on the wall for a long time and you know, I guess we weren't really aware of you, which is totally cool. Like we, we actually think that that's, it kind of builds anticipation because we know there's these shredder ninjas hanging out in the group, kicking butt, you know, and, and then when they show up, it's like, oh, there you are. <laughs> we wanted to meet you. So where are you calling from? Utah. No, Utah. What part? Uh, do you know where Morgan's at? Of course I know where Morgan's at. Yeah, we own property there at East Canyon. Nice. So I'm, I'm pretty close to East Canyon. You know where I was 64 and awesome. I've been there, going there's up another there. road. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I've been going up to I've been going up to East Canyon since I was a baby. Nice. Yeah. So we we've been members there. And then also we own about, you know, we own a thousand acres there that just borders the lake. So it's perfect. So that's home to me. I love it. Yeah. So who shared ER shred with you? Well, our our good friend Lenny Evans. Oh, would be quiet he about it. <laughs> here he is again. That's why he's legendary. <laughs> How do you know Lenny? Uh, well, I met him five or so years ago at a bliss retreat before oh, I was cool. with Isogenics or anything. And 
have just stuck to him since. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty sticky that way. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love Lenny too. So um, tell me this, uh, what is your passion? Like, what do you love? What do you do? Um, recovery and, re and creating new habits. I struggled with addiction and so creating new habits and uh, just living that recovery life and, and creating your life. Um, that is what I'm passionate about. That's, that's a cool thing to be passionate about. Yeah. I love that. All right. And so now to the ER shred part, give us an idea, you know, life before I eat, before ER shred, how was it going in terms of your health? How were things going before and kind of what transpired? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say things were bad. Things were good. I've, I had been partnered with Isogenics for a, like three and a half years. And so mm -hmm. I had created some new habits and putting the nutrition in, and that was life changing in itself. Mm -hmm. Um, but I actually, I was, avoiding meats and eggs and everything all together. I was trying to eat more vegetables and it got me, it got me so far, but then it, it kind of hit a plateau and I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see. I lost some weight. I could start to see that I was building muscle, but I couldn't really get any further than that. And, um, then Lenny, I mean, on, on his calls, I mean, he just would talk about this ER shred, this ER shred. And to be honest, the shred thing, I was totally like, he just, he he was so excited about it, but I wasn't the shred part. Just okay, yeah. Like I want I want to hear that. There's, there was a hang up around the word shred for you. Shred, yes. Okay. And so I was totally like I was in this like soft, like peaceful. Like I didn't like the word shred, and so I was like I didn't want anything to do with it. And there was all this meat and butter, and I just was like whatever. I'm eating vegetables, and I'm going to be in a peaceful, do it on my own way. <laughs> right, right. And so <laughs> what? Talking about it. Yep. And so I finally was like, okay, well, there's got to be something to it. I got to check this out. If, if anything, for the people that I'm talking to and other people that I'm helping, it might it may help them. Right. And so like, hey, I, I'll try it out. So right. I got into the group and, and checked it out. I love, um, I loved the community. I loved that there was coaching. I loved that there's support. And so um, that was a really, a really big turn on for me. And I just kind of looked and seen what was going on and I tried it. And, uh, that was back in April. I did one and it just fell in love. I mean, I just realized that my body needed meat. I think <laughs> so like, you, had, you had said, ditch the scale yeah, uh, in your post. And by the way, guys, if you'd like, please, you know, if you're watching this live, if you're present, make notes of these individuals that share. And then after the call, go back and just search up their name in the group and all the, you know, their posts will show up. Uh, if they posted, and some of them have posted like, this is Jessica. Jessica, you gave me permission to share this photo. Can I show everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So check this out. This is where uh, you'll see these pictures. And it says after first shred and then after second shred, guys. Take a look here. And that, that really got me when you said you'd lost how many pounds? I think you said two. Um, no. So in the, yeah. So from the beginning, that first photo and then where I'm at now is only a two pound difference, which is right. crazy. Right. That's what we need to talk about. It's yeah. nuts. It's insane. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, what, what do you chalk that up to? I, I mean, it's just muscle getting rid of that fat. I mean, you can see how inflamed I was and just the fat and everything in that picture. And then just changing. I mean, you can see, I, I haven't seen muscles like that in a long time. And you see a big difference from that first shred to my second shred. So I did my first shred in April mm -hmm. and I just kind of maintained it. I loved the meat. I mean, I still ate other things, but for the most part, I maintained uh, the shredder lifestyle. Right. And then I did my second one and you can see just the second one that we just all did. And yeah. you can just see a huge difference. Yeah, no, I... I see it. I see it in your in your pictures. I, I want to mention about that, that I just want people to know that what's cool about this is we give you a tracks to run on, as Jesse always says, we give you tracks to run on. Uh, but we don't dictate to you, you, you have to eat this, you yeah. must eat this. We're, we're teaching you We're it's scary for most people in the beginning, because they go, I need to be told what to do in everything. 
I used to get these calls on Friday night. You guys will get a kick out of this. Those of you that have been around with us for a long time, I used to get these calls on Friday night. Hey, Sean, I'd be, I'd be on a date with my wife. Hey, Sean, can I eat red potatoes? And I would just go, oh gosh, you know what I mean? So what's cool about this is people, we, we actually give them freedom and they're either gonna grow, fail from that and learn from the failure, or they're, and they're just going to grow. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of it. They're finally going to see some growth around eating what their body tells them to eat and listen. And I mean, that's how I was. I don't like being told what to do. I don't. <laughs> and so it was great to just say, Hey, eat me, eat butter. And I tried the other things. And the great thing was, as I just don't crave it. I don't crave like there's no food does not have control over my life. And the main reason of why I wanted to do this was like I mentioned, I am in recovery. I struggle with addiction and I've got three kids. I'm a single mom of three kids and their dad also struggles with addiction and it runs in the family. And so it's a huge, huge thing for me. I learned how much nutrition plays on our mental health and and how we react in those ways. And so I have just been searching on what I can do to support my body and myself. And I, of course, want those habits to roll into my family, my kids. And I'll tell you what, when I was trying to be vegetarian, whatever, my kids didn't want anything to do with any of the meals <laughs> that I was making. But now it's like, okay, hamburgers, okay, eggs, bacon, okay, yeah. like they'll eat anything. So it's like my life is a thousand times better. <laughs> I heard, I, I, I've got to tell you, Jessica, it, it, it runs even deeper than that. Um, children, uh, there was a study done where children uh, who were not getting animal foods, animal products in their diet, uh, versus those that were given just one egg a day. One egg a day was the only animal product they were given and tracked over time. And those children that were given an egg a day, they grew, they grew more and they grew faster. Whereas those that weren't, the growth was stunted. Uh, so little things like that start to speak to us about, you know, inherently what the human species might, might be, you know, might should be eating. Mike yeah. should be eating. <laughs> what uh, what non-scale victories did you see? You talked about the cravings. Any others? Um, yeah, I mean, just just within those things, the habits, like I would say I, I ate pretty well before, but I still had those cravings. Like we would have a movie night, we'd have a bag of Oreos, we'd go through a bag of Oreos, or like we'd have those things. We don't even like and bread was a big one. We would, I mean, my kids would go through bread in two days, like it was gone, yeah. a loaf of bread. But now we don't, I don't remember the last time I bought bread or Oreos, or we just, I've been able to create new habits within my home and it makes me feel good about my kids. Like sure, still they'll go get a treat or whatever now and then, but we just don't, it's not part of our home. That's what we've noticed as well with our children. What, uh, how long have you been doing this? Since April. Oh, man, that's so cool. I love that. We love the longevity. Like Jesse and I were talking about this over the weekend. Like we just dig the longevity and the empowerment. That's what we're all about. We don't want the fad diet crap. We want people that stick and keep getting better. And I think that's what you'll find is it just keeps getting better. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You're awesome. So everybody, please do connect with Jessica in the group. She's amazing. You'll you'll soon come to find that everybody in this group is just is just awesome. So let's go to the next one. I'm going to admit this one person. Boom. All right. Laura Ferragali Di Ascenzo. Di Ascenzo? How do you say that? Ascenzo. Are you out there, Laura? If not, we will move on to, hold on. What about uh, Catherine she's Reynolds? Just, she just got to unmute. She just okay. got to unmute. There you oh, go. she's there. I'm unmuted. Oh, Can she did it. Me? So this is Laura. And how do you say your last name? That, that was awesome, Sean. You were right, just about was right it on. Was really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was Cienzo, good. Vicenzo. Vicenzo, yeah, that's fine. D, D, Vicenzo. This, yeah. The, this you, is very Italian. With all the apostrophe. <laughs> Can't get much more Italian. Okay. okay. Can't get much more Italian. I, I once had some uh, a doctor, you know, he kept telling me no, no, no about isogenics. Uh, and uh, then he finally called me out of the blue. He says, what are you, Italian? Is this the mafia? I've, I've been sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can't say no. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. So who introduced yeah. you to the ER shred? 
Yeah, so um, I, I guess it was Glenn and Ina, oh, doctors cool. Glenn and Ina Nozak. I've known them for years. So my isogenics um, experience goes back to 2012. So I've been, um, you know, knowing what to do. I've been coaching. Right. I've been doing the intermittent cleansing, of course, you know, the, the, uh, um, those type of days. And so it's one of those things where I've always known what to do and I've been doing it. Um, and I've, Hold I've, on one sec. yeah, keep going. Yeah. So, um, so for me, you know, and why I put, put my testimonial out there back in September with my first full shred, I've been doing bits and pieces, but I've really only been through one shred where I tell us where you're caught where are you calling from so that we yep have so I'm calling from uh the greater Philadelphia okay very good and then yeah. what's your passion just so we can all get to know each other a little bit yeah so um this is my passion largely okay can, you right. know, um can, helping people with uh just healthier lifestyles I've done training um fitness classes that kind of thing so Way this cool. is kind of natural living that sort of thing so i love that okay so yeah you, so you proceed to to share you know you, you'd said you kind of knew what to do you, you were doing yeah. all the right things i had so long story short for me um i've been in this place where age is playing a factor too um kind of just dealing with the um, discomfort in the gut you know knowing and again i'm knowing i know some of the bad habits and things that I've, you know, done with my eating and all of that. So it's not like I wasn't aware, but when I would try to do better, you know, um, wasn't making much of a difference. And again, I know that my age was kind of playing a role in it too. I just was bloating, you know, all that stuff. Um, and so I guess it was Glenn and Ina, doctors Glenn and Ina Nozak, who would put the, the shred out there. So I reached out to Ina asked her for a little more information. She introduced me to the group um, and one thing led to another and I did a shred, I think it was back in September. And uh, I, I think I was amazed. First of all, I did not, I was very motivated because I was um, really ready. I was tired of going back and forth and going, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And it's not, I don't have weight to, I don't really have a lot of weight to lose. I'm petite, I'm, you know but just not comfortable, not where I want to be. So, you know, not as um, toned as I've been, but also just the, again, my gut health, mm -hmm. lots of stuff going on with that, just not feeling good. So I was ready, big, big point there. Um, Ina just kind of, re I reached out. She's always been amazing with just mm -hmm. um, getting back as, as busy as she is. And now she just moved to Florida, you know, um, but always we, we we, back. we're we're amazed by them. They're just amazing. They're they really I'm, I'm amazed at how many lives they touch. That's what I'm amazed by. Yeah, yeah. So um so it was it's great to always have her kind of in my corner too. So and, and the relentless questions, questions, and always right back to me. Lo again, back to be trying to make it quick. Um, so I went full force and made a lot of changes. And my biggest thing and why I put my testimonial out there was. I was really just amazed at how calm my gut was, mm. how um, my body was satisfied. I lost my cravings. I was amazed that the cravings were gone. And it wasn't like I didn't know. I know how the body, how sugar in your body doesn't fuel your body. There's no news, you know, and your body is saying, give me more of that because it's just not doing it, you know. So, but it was just so refreshing that, I was experiencing that, um, that satisfaction and I was totally fine with it. So I thought, wow, you know, this is, um, I felt, I felt more calm. I have a nickname at work, like I'm Taz, cause I'm always just on the go, crazy, boom, boom. And people noticed I was responding a little more calm. Yeah. It was just, you know what's kind I don't of know cool that about that? Now. Like when you're, when you are a fat burner, when you're a fat burner, um, they compare it to, you know, burning a big, heavy log for, for fuel and for energy right. versus when you're a sugar burner, which the majority of people who, you know, they're carb drunk and live on 
right, that, right. You know, glucose and, and, and carb. Uh, those individuals, it's more like a flash of kerosene, the energy. It's just, it's right. just, it's not efficient. And so right. that would explain that from, yeah. from my perspective. Yeah. So, um, so there were the kind of things and I thought, you know, and bloating gone, I think I put out there, like I lost six pounds. I mean, I was well under 120 pounds. I mean, again, I'm not a big, big person, but that was, that felt good because I felt it. I saw it. I just, again, everything, um, just about my body was just being more efficient in so many ways. So, um, yeah, so I was, uh, <laughs> I had some um, things coming up and trips for di different places and events and stuff like that, that I knew that I would probably be kind of off of the, the path a little bit, but I, I know what I need to do. And, and, and I always like to um, have that leeway because I think it's important to sometimes give yourself that little bit of freedom because you can just, you know, uh, it, it, for me, it's like, if I have a cheat day here and there, I'm okay with that. I know how to get back on track. Yes. And, and, you know, so, um, so yeah, like I, I'm looking forward to starting another, uh, discipline shred. Um, yeah. Can I ask you something for the athletes out there? Have you noticed? Yeah. Anything? Uh, I personally noticed a f unbelievable amount of, of, uh, in improvement in my strength, in my endurance and in my recovery. Um, have you been training and have you noticed a difference in yes yeah, so fat, absolutely being fat with human? my weight training lately I definitely feel like I have been able to maintain um well for one my weights I'm, I'm increasing my weights I I feel I'm burning more calories which is kind of interesting and I do know that with weight training um, a lot of times just you know I might be burning less calories in the moment, but I'm much more efficient and burning more calories at night when I'm sleeping because of the muscle that I'm building through the workouts and that kind of thing. So definitely, I feel like that my workouts are more efficient and I just feel like I'm stronger in them, which is another motivation for me to keep getting back into doing more of the shredding. And the interesting thing is one of the things that also attracted me to the shred was I've already been up on, I mean, you, there's a, there's a, a program out there and Winston, uh, not Winston, Weston Price was a dentist years and years ago. There's a Nourishing Traditions is the book. Very much, I mean, grass fed, yellow butter. I have, I live near Amish farms. I get my butter. It's deep, deep yellow. Oh, yeah, grass -fed. Lucky. Exactly. Lucky. So I've been doing that for years. So that also attracted me knowing that this program was promoting and doing that because I already have been on board with it. So that was a, another, another thing that I thought, you know what, I know this, I know this, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for years. Yeah. I think it's time to get back on track. The thing that mm -hmm. again, and I, and I forget already it's over here, East coast time. And it's like almost my bedtime. So just <laughs> bear with me. That's why I look like this. Um, but Denise, I forget. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the sweet, the sweet girl was just on. I want to say her name was Denise, but I um, feel like oh, it's Jessica. Not. Jessica. I don't know why Denise was. So what Jessica said um, about like uh, the, the going for like all of the, the meat and all the butter again, like I, I knew all about all that and I've done that for years, but to kind of go, go like for her, it was, it was really brave because she was like vegetarian. I, was not but for me to do the all or nothing was a little bit like okay i don't know i'm never i'm not all or nothing in anything i do yeah. what's Very crazy though thing. like like with that in mind try to eat a great big old steak yeah and then see how you feel for you know two three four hours thereafter with butter and salt yeah try to eat a great big old steak and include in that a potato and watch the difference it'll blow your mind it's just yeah. fascinating stuff and in fact believe it or not certain things we put together actually dilute they reduce the body's ability right to absorb the protein it's really crazy some by about 50 percent you eat yeah. certain things with the wrong, wrong other ingredient other one food with another food right. that other food could drag the nutritional value down by 50 yeah. percent. It, it's mind-blowing when you start to understand all of this and you see we've been killing ourselves we've been hurting exactly ourselves. 
exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm so grateful for you coming on. You have such great energy. And uh, yeah, I thanks. hope everybody will keep in touch with you as well. I hope you'll keep playing in the group. I'm going to definitely be posting more. I'm going to start my, my new shred in a couple of weeks. So. Oh, that'll be great. We'll look forward to following along with you. And, and uh, thanks. It's so cool to have other fitness people in the group. Jesse just he can't get enough of it. He's like, more fitness, people, more fitness. People, more yeah. Fitness. You got to have more to, fitness. We need to get on more of the calls too. I want to hear more about the science behind it and all that. Cool. Um, so I look forward to trying to get involved more. All right. Thank you so much, friend. You're awesome. And everybody that shares tonight, you are entered in a raffle to win ER Shred Gear. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks for reaching out. Thank you, Laura. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Catherine Reynolds? Are you out there, Catherine? Let's see here. Catherine, do you know how to unmute? Let me know. Oh, you're there, but you're, I can see you talking, Catherine, but I don't hear you. Does anybody else hear Catherine? You might need to check your mic. It might be a microphone issue. You might wanna just click on that top left thing that says zoom.us, go to preferences, go to your mic and then test your mic. You might need to change one setting there. What about, uh, and then we'll come back to Catherine. What about Sharon? Oh, that's a hard last name for me. I'm sorry. Eric, Eric? I, I'm not even gonna it's, it's just Eric. Oh, Sharon, I know you. How are you? Yeah. Okay, hi, how are you? <laughs> how you been? Oh, I'm doing good. Well, good, how's it going? Pardon me? How's it all going for you? Because you've been on here before. Yes, I was yeah. on here. I've only been doing this since August 16th. Gotcha. So, so how's, it, this uh, is, how's it coming along? It's going great. I'm seeing vast differences in everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give yeah. us who, who shared ER Shred with you? Uh, Susan Look. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. We love her. Yeah. 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 She's amazing. Real life toucher there. And, uh, and so, and, and, Give us an idea from that time till now, from August till now, what's transpired for you? Uh, a lot better sleep. Yeah. A lot better. I mean, I people are noticing, like, what are you doing? Yeah. And lost weight, uh, you know, and it makes you feel good. Oh. And I've, I'm like, I'm not ashamed, but I'm 58. And I've had a C-section when 31 years ago and also another hernia surgery about six years ago and with two stomach surgeries and never really got back. I mean, I wasn't big. I was athletic before runner, but I never got back to where, you know, the bloat went away. And now I'm finding out about the bloat and about foods and I ate good. And I'm always going, but my husband's seeing a very much energy coming back to when I was. He needs a switch. <laughs> he needs a switch for me right now <laughs> because I can't. There's no off. There's no off for you. And what? What? Uh, you know, I I haven't felt great the last three weeks. To be transparent, I I've been suffering from an illness, and I'm doing better. But my my energy levels are not back to where they were. And where they were <laughs> was from the time I woke up till the time I put my head to bed at night, I could just do anything. I mean, everything and anything I needed to do, I, I was capable and it, it was just, I felt superhuman. What, what do you describe it like? Well, I, I guess I have a question in here too, because sure. I work awake overnights. I go into work tonight at two o'clock gotcha. and doing, I'm doing, I'm on a cleanse right now. And so it's every two hours. So I really only slept like three hours today. Right. And that's the problem is that I don't, I, I'm trying to, I guess, do I put that out on ER Shred, like on the group? Like I would, find, I would put it there actually, because then what you're going to find is there's other people, truck drivers, nurses, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so many others that do graveyard. And, and I think you'll get a lot of powerful feedback there. Because I'm making it work. Um, I talked to Sue a lot and she's like, whatever you're doing, it's working. Yeah. Because I don't feel like, I don't know, I, there's just not an off button, but I, I have not tried the sleep spray yet and I've got that coming. So 
Okay, I'm great. See if I can allow enough time because the mind doesn't turn off. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. So mm -hmm. any other, um, how much, how much weight have you lost altogether now? If, if well, you probably about fluctuate about 15 to 18 pounds. That's fantastic. And yeah. Yeah. I, do, you know I how many, do you know how many inches? Uh, I had it, um, 12, 13. about 12, 13, maybe. That's great. That's yeah. And, and I've done, I'm, I've done three and a half and now I'm on my start and my fourth. Yeah. So be like four and a half stretch. We did. Who's, twi who's twisting your arm and making you do these things? Nobody. No, I'm a redhead. You don't twist the redheads. Now. <laughs> no, no. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I've it, never heard that, but I believe that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> but I just am driven. I mean, if I it's to put my so mind to it, I just do it. I, I mean, if I don't have to eat it, I don't eat it. Yeah. I didn't. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for coming on and sharing an update. Yep. Is there any, anything else in terms of an update that you'd like to share with everybody? Um, not really. It, it's trying. I, I guess I'm waiting for a little bit. I did take the before and after picture, like from the beginning to this last. And I didn't. I think I post them on my my page. I'm not sure. But um, it's not. I didn't think it was significant enough, but then I showed them to Sue and she's like, you got to do that. You got, you know, and then once you start looking at them, it's, it's not probably where I want to be yet, but it's good. Let's, so, talk, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that since you brought that up. Okay. So I mentioned that to, to Mimi, the heart of your shred. I told her, I said, how many people do you think are out there hiding? Mimi, how many people have had incredible results and we're totally unaware of, of who they are and, and how they're doing. And they're missing out on that, that component of recognition, that component of, you know, camaraderie and, and uh, you know, even that accountability factor. And, and they're, they're kind of sidestepping that one really powerful element. And she said, Sean, I, I bet you only 1% of the people that, that have done this and seen incredible results. I bet only 1% have, have come out and shared that. And so uh, she kind of did a video charging all the people that's hiding out to, to please, you know, like come mm -hmm. forward. In the group is where we uh, would first advocate that you come forward. You never have to come forward on your personal wall. You never have to come forward publicly. You don't even have to come forward in the group. But the reason that you probably, uh, will be grateful that you did is because you'll be showered with love and support and encouragement and acceptance. And what you've done is significant. What you've done is amazing. You are a real life hero. You should be celebrated. So that would be my little plea for everybody. And so you, same to you there, friend. If you think that the photos are insignificant, I, I think you'll be surprised. They probably are pretty darn significant. Well, I do think so. And, and actually, on a little side note, that's what got me into this was because we have a boat and, and Sue, look, was on the dock with us for a year. And then she went away. And then I was fr friends with her on Facebook. And then she actually posted it on her Facebook page and that's what got me was from january to august and i'm like okay i'm calling her <laughs> that was so what... there again you know you just pointed out another wonderful thing that we uh -huh. probably need to to make you know uh, we need to highlight that which is you know if, if your intent is to help others it mm -hmm. does take vulnerability uh it does take opening up and being willing to you know to reach out to others and say, you know, this is me, this is, this is my, my journey. Um, but you know what, that's what's so cool about uh, human beings is you'll reach the right people by doing that. And, you know, I, I don't think, guys, I wanna put this out there, it's important. People aren't hard on you like you're hard on yourself. Mm -mm. I, I want you to know that. People are not hard on you like when, when, when I see a picture and I go, oh, that's a really bad picture of me. That's not actually what everybody else is thinking. <laughs> They're looking at themselves. 
<laughs> you yeah. know, if, imagine if I give you a, a photo, if I give you a photo of a hundred people and you're in it, who's the person you look for every time? <laughs> it's you, it's a number one. We're, we're not concerned about other people in that way. So just always keep that in mind as well. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on. We really appreciate you sharing the update. Yep. Yep. And thank you so much. And, and uh, you know, keep, keep showing up. We, uh, you know, again, the longevity means everything. So thank you, Debbie. No, it's Sharon. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sharon. Sharon, I had a moment. <laughs> I had a moment there. Oh, it's because Debbie, I'm looking at Debbie right there in the blue shirt. It went in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're All fine. right, Sharon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. She said, redheads, you can't twist the redhead's arm. I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> that is awesome. Catherine Reynolds, have you figured out how to unmute? No, it's not happening. I am so sorry. You might have to call in um, for the audio. I'll ask you to unmute, see if it uh, prompts you. Oh, it doesn't even let me click on that, darn it. Catherine, oh. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do, Catherine. We might have to do a little test run at some point. Yeah. How about oh, now? There you are. You did something. Oh, yay. It's a miracle. Woo -woo. Yeah. I've clicked everything. You? I'm good. Well, good. It's so good to see you. You've been so supportive. And I just, I can tell you now publicly to your face, Catherine's been so, so supportive to me in my life and in so many ways for so long. So thank you for that. You are more than welcome. You are Do you remember? I know that it's you can't possibly remember, but um, I went to one celebration in San Diego. I think it was the first one in San Diego, and with I met Karen, you and right? your parents. I and I yeah, I was with Karen. I remember that. And, um, and your wife was home with a fresh baby, yeah. and that can't even narrow it down for me. I don't. I don't know what year it was. Yeah. Well, it was a long time ago. I know that. Yeah, you're probably talking back in like 2009 or 2011. I I think it was right when Product B came out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's cool. And so, calling it Product B makes me an old timer, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Where Where are you calling from for everybody to know? North Little Rock, Arkansas, which All is right. a separate city from the capital. Ooh, across the river. There you go. And And who introduced you to the ER shred? You did. Okay. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> all right. All right. And um, what's your passion? My passion is um, art that I'm not doing at all right now. I wrote notes. Um, my, my superpower is service. Um, I'm fifth generation career military. Um, and I'm also, I'm somewhat of a caregiver for my mom and my older sister. I mean, she's one year older than me. I'm, I'm 59, by the way. Um, and um, I, when I say somewhat of a caregiver, it's kind of like I'm, I'm the muscle in the house and, um, and I'm not super strong, you know, but um, so that, that I've been with them for um, seven years now and almost, well, seven and a half. And then uh, maybe three years ago, this new program came along uh, in the VA hospital. I've never had insurance ever. I went from being a kid to active duty to VA. Um, but there's this remarkable program they have going that allowed me to really try to get away from the food pyramid and um, build up my strength a little bit coordination which still is but um but it's it's coming along and this has done uh remarkable the shred this uh has tell done us about tell us about that when did you start the shred the er shred i i have been very half-hearted yeah um half something half-assed i mean that's that's the way i talk i still talk like a drunken sailor even yeah. though i am neither one of those things anymore um <laughs> So 
uh, just real, I mean, I love the shakes. Oh my gosh, you know, and incubating, I just love them even more. Um, yeah. I, uh, I'm, I have an idea the let's talk about that, uh, that thing you had mentioned, the isobody challenge. Oh, um, the isobody challenge. I have, I told Sean that I had entered about 945 uh, challenges. However, I only ever pretty much finished three now, but I have my maintenance photos to actually truly complete this one, this first one. This will be the first one you actually ever completed. And, and for those people that right. don't know, it's a 16 week challenge that Isogenics puts on and you can just order your Isogenics products, whatever you want. And you, you know, you do that, it's free to do it. And at the end you get a t-shirt for participating in a $200 product coupon. It's awesome. But this is so cool to hear someone say, I've done, I, I've attempted to complete so many of them. This is the first one I actually ever completed. What was different? Red. Absolutely the shred. And, and I never got a t-shirt for the other two, but this time I already got my $200 product. Uh, That's good. That's Keep good, or whatever it's called. That's, that's always fun, you know, to, to pick something to get with that. Oh, so, yeah. Right. Oh, yay. Yeah. Um, so what's different about the shred then? Well, you know, uh, I, I read the Eat Right for Your Blood type uh, way back. Gosh, my dad uh, told all three of his girls about it. And um, gosh, he, he was, he's been gone for... Uh, more than 20 years now. And um, so it said, you know, that I'm not supposed to eat red meat okay. or, or meat in general. I'm supposed right. to be a vegetarian. So, which was always a struggle. I mean, I did grow up in Texas. There are such things as barbecues. And um, I just, I, I couldn't hack it, you know, being a vegetarian. I tried a few times. Um, I lived on Guam. And, oh my God, you know, just everything was different back then. It was 1987 uh, and the meat scared me then. So I, I really hardly had any meat at all for two years, but that was about the only time that ever worked. And it was sheer fear, not, you know, oh, I'm gonna be a vegetarian now. Um, what kind of things have you noticed around, you know, eating the meats and doing the shred with the incubated shakes? What kind of benefits have you noticed? Well, the sustained, the, the big fat log in the fire, you know, the slow burn. I, I don't spike and crash. Um, I, I'm stronger. Oh, and oh, sorry. Wow. Oh, earthquake. No, I'm just uncoordinated. Um, I, since uh, December of last year, I've lost 24 pounds and 31 inches, hey. which is- look, 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 watch this. This is cool. Watch what I can do with the gallery okay. and everyone claps. That's so exciting, Catherine. That's Yay. amazing. Thank you. That is Thanks. awesome. You should be it so, 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 so proud. What, what, oh, yeah. what non-scale victories have you noticed? You mentioned the slow burn. Have you noticed any others? Um, well, because I've been at it just really halfway, as I said before, um, I, I still have cravings. So that's stupid, right? I mean, why? I'm just, why? I think I know you... why. I think, I think, I mean, just putting it out there, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know you like you know you, but, uh, you know, for me, when the individual told me to practice elimination through eating the meats, it, it was weird. But if it was weird for me, I can imagine how weird it is for other people, because I like grew up eating meat. I grew up hunting. And, oh, yeah. You know, I grew up in the West. And, and so, yeah, I mean... There's a pretty, pretty massive mental block for a lot of people that we need to get beyond. Yeah, exactly. And that might be preventing you from going all in. Who knows? Well, and but I just, I, I've written some goals, uh, specific, smart goals, specific, measured, something with an A. Uh, I don't know the whole acronym. 
but um and so for three months i am all in in these uh in this and the goals and learning this uh other skill that i want to learn um and part of it's getting organized too, getting the house uncluttered um i love it i love yay. it crystal always you have beautiful hair by the way crystal oh, always talked <laughs> crystal always talks about how this seems to permeate into all other areas of our life yeah really yeah cool. really i do cool. have better focus um which is so helpful um but i'm i'm working on strength um this is the least that i've weighed since before i retired from the navy and that was in 1996. it's great so it's it's a miracle i mean it is a miracle oh, i'm so happy for you thank you for being brave um you know you're another one of those individuals who I, I think you could really in the group and as you as you communicate with people i think you'll find that people are so scared because they say I'm not there yet. I'm yeah. not there yet. Therefore, it's like saying you don't deserve love because uh, because you're not perfected. Like <laughs> it's crazy. But I just I want you to know that you already are badass. Like you're a superhero to me. <laughs> you're a superhero to me because of what you've done, even just in the last year, and the fact that you came on this call hoping to inspire others. I just want you to know how meaningful that is to me as your friend. Thank you. Especially people who are struggling with following the rules, you know, and I'm Navy, you know, rules. Oh, yeah. Dad was no joke, you know, oh, yeah. the major, uh, you know, the rules. Um, so I don't know, it's, it's a weird spot in my head and I'm, I'm trying to work around it. Don't you think yeah. that's the cool thing, though, about like this smorgasbord, this, you know, this cross weaving yeah. of all the yeah. types of people in the exactly. tribe? Like, that's our tribe, right? Our tribe is, yeah, it, it, it's a cross stitch. And the, what's so great about that is I don't want to be in a tribe that everybody's the same. I see that exactly. in my neighborhood every day. It's disgusting <laughs> to me. Like, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it when everybody's the same. I like us. I like all the the variety and all the right you know it, it's for me that's what life should really be about is exactly diversity yes well hey i'm gonna in, in uh respect out of the other person here uh two more people let's see i'm gonna move on from catherine catherine thank you so much thank you sean love you love you too thank you so much for all your support for me through the personal things i've been through uh, you've been there every step of the way. So I just want to thank you for that. Mm. Oh, it feels good to say that to Catherine's face like that, you guys, because I've been thanking her for a very long time online, but it's just so good to see her there. And we both right. just realized we're both Cherokee. Cherokee. Sean and I. That's the coolest. I got to go out on a, a retreat with Lenny and he can teach me all that cool stuff about, I'm sure he does all the Native American rituals and all that cool stuff. Yeah. All right. Debbie Martin, are you out there? Yes. I am. Can you hear me? Hi, Debbie. How are you? Debbie, I'm going to give a shout out to, to that Isogenics collagen product that you are so fond of, the Collagen Elixir, because go to Debbie's page uh, or go, you know, message Debbie and ask for her before and after picture. But it, it, it really is phenomenal. Um, so, Debbie, where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Okay, Dallas, Texas. And, and who introduced you to the ER Shred? You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> um, um, honestly, I don't. I think I was put in the group cool. uh, at some point. And um, I, for some reason, something kind of caught my eye. And I watched a video of you and your wife talking about the program and I thought well this sounds very interesting because I've been with Isagenix for years since 2006 right but I had it has been years since I have done the cleanse or the shakes and I had to stop doing whey protein years ago because it was causing a lot of wheezing in my lungs okay and uh, so I was just ordering other products you know and um, so um 
I decided, you know what, I'm going to give this ER shred thing a try because and, it was when, something when, a little bit that? different. When did you decide to give it a try? I think it was September. I want to say September, okay. maybe the last part of August or something like that. That's, that's great. And, and so we can get to know you a little better before you go into your story. Um, what's your passion? Well, I am a massage therapist. Cool. So okay. I, I love to work with people and help people feel better. How long have you been doing that? Uh, over 25 years. Wow, that, that's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. I like to paint too, just kind of as a hobby, but I haven't done, been doing it in a long time either. Did you paint that behind anyway. you? I did. That's so yeah. cool. Thank you. That's way, way cool. I, I love to learn what people's talents are in their, you know what I mean? Like, I love to draw. And I've started drawing again now, which is exciting because when I draw, it's like, it has this calming effect on me. I haven't drawn since I was probably in junior high. Uh, wow. I always, I always loved it. I don't know why I stopped. So what unfolded for you around the ER shred? Were you able to um, use the, the uh, shakes? For, you know, were you able to use the shakes? Did you not have the wheezing? Yes, because of what you suggested to me. I had asked a question and you answered that question in a group and suggested that I just do a meat, butter and pink Himalayan sea salt meals only for mm. one to two weeks okay. to see and then do the shakes, incubated shakes to see if my body could tolerate it. So I did meat only meals for 12 days Mm -hmm. And then I started with the, you know, two shake days to uh, incubated the shakes. Mm -hmm. And I started on the whole, pro the, the shred program of the, you know, the cleansing and the five days of shakes and two days of cleansing and that type of thing. And it has not had the same effect on me that I've not had any problems with the wheezing. So I'm able to tolerate the whey protein. So I'm so happy about that. Um, it's, it really has, I would say, been life-changing for me because it started with the collagen, as you said. I started looking better. Then I wanted to do more. So that's when I tried the ER shred. And the results, at, at first, when I was going through that first, um, the first shred, the last few days of it, man, I was tired. I was so tired. I thought, man, I don't know if I can do this. And I have done a keto diet years ago. And so I had experienced that, what they call keto flu. Right. But um, I just kept thinking, okay, everybody said, just trust the process. Just trust the process. Just to, so I said, man, I've only got one more day to go. I can do it. So I just hung in there. And then when the whole thing was over with, um, I felt so much better. And, and here are the ways that I started to feel better because before this, I was tired a lot mm -hmm. and I was having, and I'm 67 years old. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I just started to attribute a lot of things. Well, this must, this just must be what it feels like to get older. And, uh, you know, I'd feel stiff when I woke, got up in the morning and it, and I felt like I had this giant wetsuit on that was just preventing me from totally moving. I didn't have any joints that hurt. I just felt like I was slow moving. Right. And, um, and also I had this growing feeling in my abdomen that, that something was growing in there. It felt different than it had before. And it was really kind of starting to worry me. I don't have that anymore. Yeah, and what I, wonder, I think I wonder now, if that was just the distended belly from, from uh, bloat. I, I, I wonder what that was, but you know, you know, who knows? Who knows? what I think it was, I mean, who, who knows, but what I think it was because it's now totally gone after I've lost 20 pounds doing this program, I think it was extra visceral fat, the weight of extra visceral fat that was pulling down on my abdomen and just felt uh, like, you know, something, something was growing in there and it was fat, you know? Yeah. So um, anyway, um, and I had a lot of brain fog. That's gone. Uh -huh. um, 
I had, I, I was starting to have trouble with balance. Like right. I would just be walking and, you know, like my balance would be a little bit off. That's gone. Um, Very fascinating. I feel like, you know, I had a lot of bloating, always yeah. a lot of bloating. That's gone. Yeah. Um, I mean, just, it, it's just been, in, in the whole way that I feel now yeah. is I feel younger. I feel like my old self is coming back. Yeah. And I feel inspired to do more. Sure. Because now I realize that I was, you know, I mean, I only shopped at Whole Foods, bought our organic food, but now I realize that I was eating a lot of things that were causing inflammation in my body and in my brain. Yeah. And the difference now is so um I mean, not, not to mention that I lost 20 pounds, right? but it's the difference in how I feel and how I think yeah. and how I move that has uh, been the biggest difference for me. It's given me hope. It's given me hope. I have this new, um, this, this newfound hope that to start something new and to, uh, you know, just be, be better than I was before, before I just felt like, I don't want to say hopeless. Cause that just kind of sounds so, like how's, such a how's the, word, how's the word drudgery, <laughs> but it was, it was drudgery and it's drudgery. And I was like, Oh man, this yeah. is just, this is what it feels like to, you know, to get old. And I don't, you know, and I don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel old anymore. Oh man, your story is blowing me away. And it's just bringing me back to my story. Uh, everything you're describing, I felt the same things. What, what day did you finally make the turn and start feeling better? Uh, well, it was after that first shred because see, I had done 12 days of the meat only meals mm -hmm. and then I did the shred. Yeah. So I had a long run. Sure did. Meat only meals. Right. And, you know, and whey protein shakes. And um, so it was after that, I, I just felt like I just started feeling so good. And then when I, after I did the first shred and I started to add one thing back, I really could see how it was reacting in my body. Yeah. You were, you were really in tune. I was really in tune and I'm not perfect now. I think there may be, you know, I mean, I feel like I'm uh, definitely still kind of tweaking some things. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing when I went back and started adding some things. I was like, wow, I'm going to have to throw that out of the refrigerator. Right. But the things that started going through my mind is maybe I wasn't meant to eat this ever. I used, I used to think something was wrong with me. And then yeah. I started to realize like, oh, maybe this isn't fit for, for human consumption. Maybe this isn't my food. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Your result is unbelievable. I love the picture of you in the group with the pumpkins. Everybody go look at that, that picture. It was fantastic. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say before, uh, before we conclude with you? Uh, no, I think that's basically it. It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Um, you came alive and it took longer than, you know, day five or even day 12, um, but you persevered. And it's so important for people to hear these stories because it might not happen in the first week or the second week. It, it, it might take a little bit longer. Jesse's been teaching that it might take a little bit longer. It's really important that people understand that. So thank you so much. Thank you. And your result is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. No, oh, and I love your accent, by the way. <laughs> what accent? What accent? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> wonderful. All right, you guys. Um, the last one on here is Jackie Perez. You out there, Jackie? I am. I'm sorry that we we uh, we are certainly not. We didn't say the. The best for last, but you're definitely, <laughs> you're definitely, uh, maybe you're the best, the best for last. We'll put it that way. Nobody, nobody minds. Uh, Jackie. I enjoyed listening to everybody. 
Oh, I'm grateful that you hung out with us. And, and uh, Jackie, how do you say your last name? Koski. Koski. Okay. Yep. So, oh, I got, I got the, the thing on Facebook. Jackie yeah. Perez Koski. Yep. Okay. I got you, Jackie. So Jackie, where are you calling from? Missoula, Montana. Cool. I bet I'm going to know who shared ER Shred with you. Who shared it with you? I bet you are. Mary Evans. Oh, of course. And Nicholas Stouter on the Experience Isogenics team call. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is cool. So there's a connection there. I love yes. that. What is your passion? My passion is anything health and wellness and general well-being, whether that's cooking food, your environment, keeping your environment environment clean, um, being outside, breathing fresh air. I love it all. We're a lot alike. Okay, that's really yeah. fun. Um, and give me an idea. When we, when did you do the uh, your first ER shred? I did that August sixteenth. August sixteenth. Cool. All that's right. Me. And so, how did that go? How how were things before? What did you What did you realize? All that good stuff. Um, before I did my first shred, I knew I was in a place where I needed to do something. I had been doing isogenics for six years, but I wasn't getting the results that everybody else was getting. And I was bummed. And I had progressively over the six years just kept gaining weight while everybody else was losing weight. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Right. And it, it just led to a snowball of depression and irritability. And I remember we went to the cabin for the final time this summer with some friends and she called me out and she says, why are you being the world's biggest B word? <laughs> and I said, I appreciate that. Your honesty with me. I said, and I know that I, I realize that I am. And it's because I'm unhappy with the way I look and the way I feel and I'm a, a miserable monster on the inside and I need to do something. And then I saw Mary Evans post about the team call and I said, I have to find out what this shred is all about. Right. And so I jumped in and I was shocked because I didn't, it's not that I didn't like to do cleanse days, but I mean, they weren't my favorite. And I told my friend, because I had her jump in and do a shred with me, and I was like, this is seriously the easiest cleanse I've ever done in my entire life. Was that because of the bone broth that you used? I think it was because of the bone broth. I think it was because of the meat meals. I think it was because I went into it way more, you know, nourished mm -hmm. than before. I think so. And I think it's because I wasn't full of all the carbs and the crap. Because I had been doing a lot of crap eating. Yes. <laughs> when you're miserable and grumpy, there's a lot of crap eating involved. 100%. And so you, you were able to do it. It was way more doable and enjoyable. And what transpired for you? Um, well, that first shred, I lost 11 pounds and 11 inches. And the inflammation mm. is what I noticed right off the bat. Just started melting off my body. I clean houses for a living. I've done that for 21 years. I own my own business. And very I was very physically active. Yes. Very, very. And I would come home at night and drag my butt up the stairs and I would hurt so bad. My knees, my hands, my shoulders. And I noticed I started coming home and I wasn't hurting like I used to. Right. I'd go to bed at night and instead of laying there and, you know, clenching and unclenching, just trying to get my hands to relax, I, I could just go to sleep and I could sleep restfully and I wasn't switching. I'm a side sleeper. So instead of going from this shoulder to this shoulder, you know, cause they started to ache, I was waking up, you know, and thinking, did I even move at all last night? I slept on the same shoulder all night. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Amazing. So I so relate to the body, the body's ability to repair and, and uh, the body's ability to recover and to be able to, you know, Jesse talks about it with everybody on the calls, like to, to, to use your body and use your body and use your body the way it was intended to be used, which is physically 
and then be able to get up the next day and do it all over again. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. so I, cool. used, I used to work out all the time and I got to the point where I haven't stepped foot in a gym in three years because I just was so out of shape. And so I hurt so bad and I was so miserable. And tonight I was just talking to my daughter and I said, I'm at the point where I want to get back in the gym. I miss lifting weights. Yeah. I miss being, you know, everybody used to call me the incredible Hulk mom. I miss being that. I, I need to get back. Yeah. Well, and, and as yeah. you do and you will, you will, because it's coming from within. Um, mm -hmm. And as you do, let us follow along with you. It's, oh, I will. It's, it's been so fun to follow different people in the group that are on that journey and they're getting physically active and they're doing things. It's just been so exciting for me to, to watch them, you know, have those journeys. So please do keep us all posted. Any other non-scale victories that you notice? Um, we're something weird, but my hair has always kind of been a big deal to me. Um, it's always been long. It's always been healthy. And the last couple of years, I'm 53. So I'm starting to, you know, go through the change. I'm getting older and my hair just looked terrible and it felt terrible and it was falling out. I'd wash my hair and it, I'd look in the drain and nearly burst into tears because there's all my hair in the drain. And since doing this, I can wash my hair. And this is the first thing I do is I look in the drain and it's like maybe this much hair. It's like, it's staying on my head and it feels so nice. <laughs> my skin feels so nice. And being a, you know, a cleaning lady for 21 years, I don't have the nicest hands, that, you know, cause I, I don't wear gloves a lot, which I should. Right. But I've noticed that my hands are softer, you know, my skin is softer. I, just everything. A of, it's, a, it's a lot of wins. You have shared a lot I, of wins. I don't have any more cravings. I don't come home at night and before I cook dinner, I don't, you know, raid every cupboard in the kitchen trying to find out what I can snack on before I make dinner. I, I don't even have a desire to. It's not even a thought in my head anymore. So when sweet. before it was like, you know, half a bag of tortilla chips and salsa, you know, before dinner. Me so too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So you're empowered. And it sounds like you're going to keep pressing on. That's exciting for all of us because watching these journeys unfold has become like my new, my new favorite thing. Yeah. Like yeah. that's where it's at for me. Yep. Clothes are fitting better. Everything. So I'm, I'm what are we going to be starting in November? Shred, uh, shred number four for me. So. All right. And how, how many inches and pounds have you lost overall then? I have lost 30 pounds and 32.5 inches. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I had to drag oh. a pair of shorts out of the top of the closet the other day because all my other ones I was wearing were too big. And I have them on today. And I spent the whole day pulling them up thinking these were the two, these were the shorts that were too tight that I just started wearing and now they're feeling too big. Yes. So I'm excited. Thank you. You seem, you seem pretty excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on here. Um, it means a great deal to all of us. Uh, I just want to go ahead and in closing before I, I we're going to let Jesse just say hello to everybody and thank everybody for sharing and, and uh, charge everybody. But uh, uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow night is Crystal with Bob Sivrights on the Shredders Unite call. So you'll want to get on that. You can get on that on Facebook. You can go to shreddersunite.com and it's published in there. Or I think it's on Bob's wall. I'll try to share it from my wall. It'll be, you know, in one of the groups. So that's Crystal's going to go into some pretty intimate personal stuff about her journey um, in the network marketing industry. And, you know, Crystal's cool because she sees how it can, can be done right. It can be done better. And what, what needs to really elevate, it's very, it's very important. Um, with all that said, everybody that's here tonight, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so much. I'll just put it on gallery mode because I just, I just love it when everybody claps like that. It just makes me so happy. These are all of us clapping for all of you amazing people out there. Thank you so much. We know it's scary. And uh, the cool thing is it gets easier. I promise you, it does get easier being in front of a video camera. And I know for a lot of you that have never done that before, 
that is a terrifying thing. So I just want to share my respect for you and my gratitude. Thank you so much. Jesse, what do you think about tonight? How about these testimonials? Well, it's been many years and I still feel like I want to pee my pants when I get on camera, if that makes anybody feel any better. <laughs> so it's still there for you. everybody that does an interview with me. I'm always like, okay, hold on a second. Three, two, one. I do my little rocket ship thing and then click the live. And I'm like, okay, that's it. Like, you just got to go. Gotta <laughs> you got to go. go. You know what I mean? You know, what's so crazy, Sean. There's all these crazy realizations, right? I just had a brand new baby. Life is there. I'm like the super emotional guy now. I'm crying at everything. I was crying at the zoo today, watching the baby gorilla mama hug the baby gorilla and just thinking of how close we are, you know what I mean, to these things. And, and as I'm going around to each exhibit, I'm just starting to think, I'm like, this is so nuts. Like we're literally bringing out the animal human in every person right? Like, like I'm watching these baboons and these chimpanzees and these giraffes and these rhinoceroses and all these, these amazing creatures. And they're just like living life. You know what I mean? Like no care in the world, they know what to eat. You know, I watch my dog, if he's sick, he takes a nap, he sleeps, he doesn't eat his food that morning until his belly feels better. And I hear all these stories for the last year. And I'm just so filled with freaking joy. And I'm so thankful that every single one of you has had the courage to actually step up. I don't, two things happen when you do that. One, you have just injected yourself with so much power. You have literally given yourself back the power of belief and confidence and I hope you're so proud of yourself because I ripped myself of that for so many years of my life and Sean you helped me with that and Lenny's helped me with that and I have had amazing mentors that have helped me and to be able to pass that back on and just give life into people you know I hate when people say the ER shred changed my life no it freaking didn't you changed your life friend you stepped up you said yes. Don't you dare give your power away to some stupid protocol, to some stupid company. They did not save your life. They did right by you by not giving you bullshit. They did right by you by eliminating the crap. They did right by you by being honest and genuine and, and trustworthy and, and supportive good friends, right? They did good by a good company, which I think all companies should do, right? All we've done, Sean, is stop the nonsense. I'm so tired of it. I see these stupid commercials on TV. Manage your type 2 diabetes with this drug. And by the way, it causes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and all these freaking things. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Did I just miss something? Did I just miss something? Right. And I'm just like, this is so nuts. And then I just had another person that's like, yeah, you know, I made this appointment for this many thing on Friday. I'm checking that out between you and them. And I'm like, okay, friend, listen, I don't chase people. You do your thing. Here's our group. Please check it out. I looked this thing up and I felt so called to reach out to her. This is literally in the call. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. There's franchise opportunities, injections, fat burners. Like guys, the, all the ER shred is, is your ancestor your way with the 21st century, but we've taken only the good from massive years of failure, from massive years of struggle, from thousands of dollars of just frustration and aggravation. And we've just cut it all out and given the best. That's the tracks to run on, right? But you guys stepping up each week, this community, this, this support, like the way that you're figuring things out, how you're fine tuning and trusting your gut and, and learning how food is the most powerful drug right it's what fuels us like it's our right to eat like the rhinoceros doesn't ask permission to eat what it's supposed to eat the rhinoceros didn't give a crap and if i got in its way it would have killed me you know what i'm saying i i watched it attack the other rhinoceros it was scary you know like the baboon doesn't care if i say hey baboon don't eat the carrots you know what i mean they're they're, they're not good for you like you should eat this and the baboon's gonna be like what are you talking about it's gonna show me its ugly ass you know it's gonna run away like it doesn't matter <laughs> you know guys come on you know come on right like i'm so happy that people are just using their common sense again and yeah we get a little kick in the butt we need a little you know tracks to run on. We need a shock and that's what this is but sean like this is what I'm so happy about, dude. You know what I mean? Like it just every day I'm picking out these things and I'm like, oh my God, that's ER shred. Oh my God, that's ER shred. Like it's just the most beautiful, natural, you know, I've said it months ago, the best, I don't even, is it, is it a health protocol? Is it a health protocol or is it a life freaking changing protocol 
of just making better humans or not making better humans because we're all amazing. Let me correct myself of just bringing out the amazing human that was created from the beginning that we lost touch with. And now we're back in tune with you hear me. That's that, that's what I feel this is. So thank you to all of you. I literally can't thank you enough. Uh, it means everything to me, to Sean, to everybody who's poured into this. Um, and, and it's really for us. It's just about watching you get your life back. I mean, literally, like it's watching you get your life back. It's the most beautiful thing ever. So thank you. Literally, thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for being our, our ambassador around the nutrition and, you know, the the coaching part of, of ER Shred. You've done a phenomenal job. You continue oh, to do a phenomenal job. My thank absolute you. pleasure. Thank you, man. Thank you. And you guys, um, we're going to go ahead and just unmute this call uh, tonight. And if you'd like to to say good night to everybody or cheer anybody on and say thank you. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for coming on. It was awesome. Thank you. Good night, Great everybody. Thank you. Great job. Great call. It was an thank amazing call. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Sean, all amazing thank you. Sean, tonight's call is going to be on Shredders Unite and shared out to the other pages. Oh, oh good deal. You want to say yeah. hi? Bye. 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 Thanks, Jesse. Oh, I sent you a note. Oh, Corbin, yeah. two nights in a row, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Thank you so good much. Night. <laughs> Have good a great night. night. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Everyone. All right. Bye-bye. My hero, Bye -bye. Sean. Oh. <laughs>